We're live. Hi, what's up, Sergeant? We will start your recording. Go on to the computer. Cloud is up. Backup is rolling. Thank you. You may begin with the opening. Good morning, and welcome to the remote hearing on the Committee on Immigration. Will council members and staff please turn on their video at this time? Thank you. To minimize disruptions, please place all cell phones and electronics to vibrate. Chair, we are ready to begin. Thank you, and uh, buenos dias, everyone. I'm Carlos Menchaca, council, uh, council member and chair of the Immigration Committee. And we are here uh, for a vote. Um, I'd like to recognize the members of the council who are, are here today and members of this committee. Councilmember Drum, Councilmember Margaret Chin, Councilmember Moya. And uh, as other council members come in, I will, I will recognize them. Today, the Committee on Immigration will be conducting a second hearing and a vote on a package of four resolutions. Proposed resolution number 1416A, sponsored by Councilmember Matthew Eugene, calling on the United States Department of Homeland Security to halt all deportation proceedings for the length of the COVID-19 pandemic as a means of restricting the global spread of this disease. Proposed resolution number 1417A, sponsored by Councilmember Matthew Eugene, calling on the Department of Homeland Security to place a moratorium on all removal proceedings for employment-based status holders that suffered a loss of employment during or due to COVID-19 pandemic. Proposed resolution number 1418A sponsored by council member Matthew Eugene calling on the United States Congress to pass the president to sign legislation that would permit employment based status holders to retain lawful status after loss of employment if such loss was related to COVID-19 pandemic. Proposed resolution number 1419A, sponsored by Councilmember Moya, calling on the United States Congress to pass and the president to sign legislation that would provide immigration relief for many of our family members who derive a lawful immigration status from a frontline worker who passed away due to COVID-19. I'll let the sponsor speak on this resolution in a moment. Uh, we have much work to do. Even as President Biden signed a 100-day moratorium on deportations pending administrative review, DHS has deported over 294 individuals to Jamaica, Guatemala, and Honduras since January. All of these countries are on CDC's level four do not travel um, list for extreme COVID-19 risk. The fight to end deportations is far from over even as we have a different administration in the White House. I want to congratulate my colleagues uh, on their thoughtful resolutions and urge my committee members here today to vote in favor of their passage. Uh, and with that, uh, I wanna hand it over to our council, uh, our council Harbani Auja. And well, actually I wanna say thank you to committee council Harbani Auja, policy analyst, Elizabeth Cronk, chief of staff, Lorena Lucero, legislative director, Cesar Vargas and communications director, Tony Chirito. And now I'll hand it over to our committee council. Thank you, chair. I'm gonna turn it over to council member Eugene to make a statement on his resos. Thank you so very much. Uh, Thank you, uh, Chairman Chaika, for your leadership on the Immigration Committee. Thank you so very much. Uh, we all know that a COVID-19 pandemic has been especially harmful to members of the immigrant community, many of whom have built their life around working in the United States and providing for their families. This public health crisis has significantly disrupted their employment status and in doing so has made them eligible for deportation. Resolution 1416, 1417, and 1418 call on the United States Department of Homeland Security and Congress to temporarily halt removal proceeding for status holders who have lost employment due to COVID-19. We are at a critical juncture 
in the global fight against this pandemic. And it is unjust and inhumane to continue to deport the deportations when we know the health risk posed during removal proceeding, especially when individuals are hosted close together and proper hygienic practice are not available to. Resolution 1416 call on the United States Department of Homeland Security to halt all deportation proceedings for the length of the COVID-19 pandemic as a means of restricting the global spread of this disease. Resolution 1417 calls on the United States Department of Homeland Security to place a moratorium in all removal proceedings for employment-based status holders that suffered a loss of employment during or due to COVID-19 pandemic. And Resolution 1418 calls on the United States Congress to pass and the president to sign legislation that would permit employment-based status holders to retain lawful status after loss of employment if such loss was related to COVID-19 pandemic. There are many status holders in my district and throughout New York City who have suffered a loss of employment due to COVID-19. And I believe we have an obligation to protect them from removal proceeding for the reminder of the pandemic. They are cab drivers, businesses, business owners, laborers, delivery person, and so many status holders who lost, of, who lost employment put their living situation into turmoil. We must protect their health and well-being so that they are not deported to countries where COVID-19 demand a serious threat. These are the workers who represent the strength of our local economy. And their tireless dedication to our city has kept us moving forward throughout this crisis. It is not right to allow them to be put in harm's way during the pandemic, especially given their tremendous value and dedication to our great city. I believe this legislation is necessary to help employment-based status holders remain in safe and secure living environment while trying to secure new opportunities through the extent of the COVID-19 pandemic. I want to thank my colleagues and the, in the city council and all the members of the uh, legislative department and my colleagues who have sponsored also this legislation. And I want to thank also the city council uh, legislation division and my staff, Minister Wilson, for the assistance on this very important legislation. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Council Member. I'll now turn it to Council Member Moya to make a statement on his resolution. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Chairman Chaka, and uh, good morning to all my colleagues. Um, almost a year battling COVID-19, a pandemic that has uh, shaken us in more ways than one, uh, and we've seen uh, who has borne the brunt of this pandemic, Black, Brown, Latino immigrant communities. Frontline workers, healthcare workers who are predominantly foreign born have literally sacrificed their lives to make a difference and help save lives during one of the worst pandemics this city, this country, this globe has ever seen. The families of these uh, frontline he healthcare workers not only had to suffer the loss of their loved ones, they've had to deal with the financial hardship and are at risk of losing their own immigration status. I introduced this resolution because we need to value the contributions and honor the sacrifices immigrants have made for our city and for our country. And we must treat our immigrant community, uh, including and especially children, uh, with humanity. One way we can do so is by providing immigration relief to surviving family members of frontline healthcare workers who passed away as a result of contracting COVID-19. These families, these children are already battling COVID-19 on top of suffering great loss 
they should not be fighting deportation or lose the only home that they've ever known here in the United States solely because their family member sacrificed their lives to help others during this unprecedented pandemic. So I ask today uh, my colleagues uh, to please join me uh, in voting to pass uh, resolution uh, 1419. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I mean, I'm sorry. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, uh, Councilmember Moya and uh, Councilmember Matthew Jean for your for your resolutions today. And I think with that, we're going to go right into the voting. Sure. Good morning. Still good morning. Uh, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on immigration. All items are coupled. Chairman Chaka. I vote aye. Eugene. I vote aye. Chin. I vote aye. Drum. Aye. Moya. I vote aye. I vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Thank you all. And this concludes the hearing and vote on the resolutions. We'll see you at stated. Thank you.